to the channel so today I'm bringing y'all another legendary recipe so before we get into the video I'm gonna ask if you're new or you haven't subscribed to the channel yet make sure you do that right now hit that subscribe button so with that being said let's dive into the video all right guys as I mentioned earlier today I'm bringing y'all another legendary recipe so today I'm gonna be showing y'all how I'm going to prepare a nice deep fried breadfruit. In my country, we call this Lam Vilta. So, make sure y'all stay tuned throughout this whole entire video so you'll see exactly how I'm gonna prepare everything to get your final result. So, what I'm gonna go ahead and do next is peel my breadfruit and then after that, I'll cut them into pieces so I can fry them. So stay tuned for that guys. Okay guys, so now I'm getting ready to peel my breadfruit. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is wash them. Just wash them real quick. And then I'll take my knife, we'll cut it in half. Make sure you don't cut your fingers. it looks like after you cut them in half so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and, and cut it one more time so it will be a lot easier for me to peel off the skin just like that so now I'm gonna go ahead and start peeling my breadfruit Just like that. This is what you want, guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of the one I just cut and the other one. And after that, I'll show you guys the final result. Stay tuned, guys. All right, guys. So now I'm done with my peeling process. So I'm just gonna cut them to smaller pieces like that so I can fry them. So after doing that, we'll be ready to start frying. Stay tuned guys. Alright guys, so in this pot right here, I have some pork meat that I'm gonna use to make what's called griot to eat with my breadfruit. So by now as you can see it's boiling, it's cooking up nicely. When it's done, I'll remove it from the water. You know, let it sit for a little bit so the excessive water can drain out of them. And then I'll fry them next. So stay tuned for that step, guys. Okay, guys, so now I am ready to start frying my breadfruits. And I got my little deep fryer heating up nicely. Breadfruit right here. And in this bowl, I have some salt water in it, which I'll be using to dip my breadfruits in after I fry them for the first time. Um, so I'll be using that salt water, dip them in there, just for extra flavors. And then after that, I'll fry them again one more time, just if I was doing plantain. So make sure you guys watch the whole entire video so you can get the whole process and make sure it is done right. So right now I'm about to start adding some of the breadfruit pieces in there. Make sure your hands are clean. Grab them just like that. And just place them in your deep fryer. like that. Alright, so I'm gonna let them cook up for about a minute and a half, two minutes, then I'll be removing them. 
And then after that, I'll press them down with a presser, dip in my salt water, and fry them again. So make sure you guys stay tuned for all the steps, guys. Okay, guys. So after about two and a half minutes, I'm removing them from the deep fryer. I'll place it in a separate platter. Just like that. And what I'll do next is use my plantain presser, or you could just use two bowls to press them down. Alright guys, so make some room. So I'll put my ladder right over here. This is my plantain presser. Just two pieces of wood. So what I'll do, I'll grab a piece, lay it flat on there. We use my other um, side of the presser and just press it down. As flat as you want. You should have something like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the same process for the rest of them, and then I'll show you guys how I'm gonna find the index. Stay tuned. All right guys, so as you can see, I have some of them pressed up already. What I'm gonna do now is grab the one that's already been pressed up, dip them in my salt water, and refry them again one more time. So pay close attention. Just grab one like that, dip it in your water, drop it in your deep fryer. So I'm gonna do the same process to all of them, and then I'll show you guys the final, final, result. So stay tuned guys. Alright guys, so as you can see, breadfruits are all done frying process is all done now so next up I am frying my pork meat you can see pork meat is frying right now so when it's done I'll get everything set up on the plate and I'll show you guys the final result stay tuned for that guys one eternity later okay. so this is my final result of my deep fried red fruit, little rice cake, deep fried pork griot, and a little sauce. So I hope you all enjoy watching this video. And don't forget to like, comment, and share. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Alright y'all. Catch y'all on another one. Peace.